you know, something that I was attracted to you and when I was, you know, meeting you and when I, when I accepted to come onto your show, um, there was this drive and there was this something that pulled me in with your energy, you know, and that, that is something that I want to talk about where I personally, I call that irresistible, but, you know, I think everybody else heard what my thoughts are about irresistible, what Bark's thoughts are about irresistible. And, you know, I'm curious, I never asked you, what are your thoughts about, you know, being irresistible? What is that to you? Um, so this one, I think, uh, and again, I've had all day to think about it because this is not a new question, right? Like I knew this one was coming. Uh, and and as I was listening to the podcast, like, okay, so what are, you know, how would I uh, define this, right? And, and, and I spent some time thinking about the people that I wanted to be around. Um, mm. and, and Jeremy, that's one of the things, you know, like people want to be around you. I think you mentioned that. And that was sort of the trick around me is thinking, what was it about these people that made me want to spend time with them? Um, you know, because my circle is pretty small of like the people that I hang out with, on, like kind of on a regular basis. And, you know, right. you know, I have a lot of acquaintances, a lot of acquaintances and like five friends, right? You know, mm -hmm. and I don't know how everybody, um, how everybody else kind of approaches this, but what makes me want to be around somebody um, or just give up my time to be with them, right? Because uh, if I'm giving time to someone, it's, I'm, you know, there's a, there's an opportunity cost, right? Um, right? So my kids are downstairs and they're, you know, they're doing stuff and, 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 and I'm not spending time with them, I'm spending time with you guys. Like, what is that? What is it that makes, uh, Sure. What I have found is that people that attract others, that folks want to spend time with them, they have a way of actually pushing the spotlight away from themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and they share the glory, they share the energy, they um, they, they put the spotlight on others, especially if it's always on them that they have a tendency to like, no, let me let me turn this on someone else. And that also, it, it kind of pushes into what makes that those people tend to be great leaders as well um, right. because they have a mindset of thinking about others and, and recognize that, you know, kind of like if I can make this, the, the tide rise, you know, all the boats go up too, and, and we're all more successful. Um, you know, there's a joke in the military, we call it the spotlight ranger. Uh, and that's the guy who only does the good thing when the spotlight's on him. Gotcha. Uh, right. And, and so there's a lot of peer evaluations that go in and it's actually a, a, a your peer evals. Um, you have to have good evaluations just to graduate. Wow. Uh, and, and part of that is that, you know, your peers are going to see you at your worst, at the, at the absolute worst when I'm tired. And, you know, it's mile 13 of I, you don't even know, actually, because you don't have a watch and you don't have like you don't know how long you've been walking. It's just the mm. sun is a lot lower in the sky. It's been a few hours. Wow. Right? feet hurt and your back hurts and you're tired and you're sweaty and you know, you're hungry and you're wet and you're cold and you just kind of want to quit. And like, what are you going to do in that moment? Um, and, and what you do is you ask somebody else if they need help. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody recognizes that. Wow. You know, they, everybody realizes that dude, that's a guy that to me is irresistible. That's a guy I want on my right. team. I don't care anything else. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't care how smart he is. Like he's always right. thinking, about somebody else and how can I help and how can I be there? Um, and, you know, uh, uh, there's a story in the Bible. Jesus talks about the woman who, who gave, who had two coins, right? And, and, and she gave, that was all she had, right? It was just two coins. It wasn't a lot, but, but she gave from what she had. Um, and it meant a lot more than the guy who has a whole lot and gives very little. Um, and, and that's, to me, those kinds of people, are they tend to attract. Uh, and that makes somebody irresistible when, they ask a question and then they wait and they listen to your answer and they don't mm. feel like they have to share a story and say, tell me about you, right? Let me mm. hear. And I'm going to ask questions about it because I'm excited to hear your story and, and what makes you great. And, and, you know, what can I learn from that? What, what do you have to teach me? And um, mm -hmm. I don't know, that's attractive to me. Right. 